Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm doing a little dance because I'm so excited to be vlogging. I haven't been on my vlog grind. I've been on my podcast grind lately, so sorry I've been a little MIA, but today we are finally home for more than one weekend. And Luke and I had a very busy spring. I had a lot of commitments just with friends that are getting married and hosting people and going to visit people, etc. But we're finally home for a little bit. And you guys know, if you know me, if you've been around, you know that this has been a struggle of ours. And we have just a lot of home time to look forward to in the fall and in the spring, and in the spring, oh my gosh, or like literally almost in summer, in the summer and in the fall, and especially in the winter. So we are taking steps to not fall to, not fall victim to our own schedules which it sounds like it's such a first world problem, but it is something that we tend to do just because we enjoy just giving our time to celebrate others and to be with others. And we forget that we need time to reset with ourselves. So today is going to be very fitting that I just said that. Today is gonna to be a reset with me. We are going to reset and it was really hard for me to wake up early this morning. I snoozed my alarm three times and that was just the honest truth of it. And now my camera's dying because naturally it, it will. One second. Okay, we're connected now. But if you guys are wondering, these are Lululemon. Mixed, mixed feelings about these because they look a fine length now. But I have large quads, thighs, inner thighs, legs in general. And when I run, they go like this. <laughs> and I feel like I'm running with a wedgie. But you know what? I was feeling the color scheme today. I just got this top from Vitality. If you guys know, I wear Vitality a lot. I really want to work with them formally because I've been supporting them for years, but I really enjoy their products. And okay, if you guys are wondering my Vitality strategy, because often literally everything is sold out and it sucks. Um, another thing that I don't like about them is their shipping times. It takes forever, but you know what? Good things come to those who wait. And something that I do is if I like something, even if I'm kind of on the fence about it, I will purchase it and then I will return it. They do have a $6 restock fee. But for me, I will value purchasing said product and if I like it, keeping it or returning it for $6. You know, like the value is there for me. My strategy with Vitality is I'll purchase, I'll try on a bunch of things and then I'll return a bunch of things. And this is, I, I bought four things this is the only thing I liked out of the last drop. So I'm going to keep this one thing. In case you were wondering. Because it is annoying when I post stuff and I post a link and then they're out of stock. So I am sorry about that. So today we're going to do a reset routine with me. And we're going to just basically catch up on a lot of house stuff. So I will just give Luke credit where credit is due. He cleaned the house when I was gone. And I mean like clean the house and installed a lot of organizational systems he is so good at that stuff so he has like all these little organization techniques and he's helped me out tremendously so i'm able to now work in the basement for the furniture because before it was like a, a shit show like you couldn't walk through the basement without there being boxes and boxes and just like crap in front of you and he organized all of it so i'll go down there later with you guys i don't know if i've even been down there with you guys and I'll show you the other half of the basement where I'm going to work on my furniture. That way you guys kind of see where I'm going to be working. And you guys are going to be there a lot more often now. But I am going to go do a little workout right now. And I just took some pre-workout and I just started tingling. Yay, love that. Um, but I use the powders pre-workout. I like rainbow snow comb. There's so many flavors. The grape one, apparently, the space juice is apparently amazing. And their Memorial Day sale just ended, but you can use my code Vero Burton for, I think it's 10% off um, any order, no matter how many times you order. I use it for all my orders that I order. They don't provide product for me, like I buy them. And I also use the pump powder if I don't want caffeine. So these two are awesome. I also use their greens. Their greens help me be regular and I like the taste of them. I personally like 
I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now, but it's something like mango, kiwi situation, don't know. Or the lemon lime is good. The passion fruit is okay. It doesn't taste bad. It's just a very mild taste. So that's those are my supplements right now. And I'm taking a parallel vitamin for trying to conceive. So um, that was a lot of talking. Okay, so today we're going to work out, grocery shop, do laundry, catch up on some work. I have to do some stuff for the furniture biz. Um, yeah, that's it. that's what we got going on. I'm not gonna try to overload myself. Oh, and then we're gonna update our calendar. So, as you guys know, I have issues with my schedule and I forget things a lot. <clears throat> and I forget things a lot. I'm gonna link this because it's been a game changer. But at the beginning of every month, I'll look on my calendar and I'll literally go in and write down everything that we have going on this week or this month, and then specifically what we got going on this week. And then if I have a list of things that I just need to do, I'll put it here. So I have a lot of research I have to do, booth and photography. Uh, this is all last week, so. I'm gonna reset and we're gonna do this together. So it's a great exercise and honestly, I've been obsessed with this. So I do recommend, I do recommend. It was super cheap on Amazon, I'll link it below. So I absolutely love starting my reset days out with a workout, especially before or right after I do my little list. I wake up, I do my little devotional time or right before it. I like to have that mind-body connection and it gives me a great endorphin rush. And throughout the years, working out has looked very different for me every single year, every single different season of life. It has looked like long runs, it has looked like short walks, it has looked like 15 minute yoga stretch YouTube video in my living room in my studio apartment. It can look a variety of different ways. As long as you are just connecting your mind to your body and having that space where you are able to be present and not worry and focus solely on your tasks for the day, what you have to do next, trying to rush through your current circumstances that you're trying to get out of, like grocery shopping, laundry, etc. Just taking the time to be present in your body and work it and move with it and try to feel like you are in the moment it feels really, really good. And right now, I'm very into very light weightlifting. I work up to a slightly moderate weight, but instead of increasing weight right now, I'm just increasing volume and reps so I can still feel that burn. And I've been really enjoying just doing about 15 to 20 minutes of cardio, whether that looks like a really brisk walk or a slow run. I'm a slow runner. I do a nine minute mile. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll do my nine minutes. More often than not, I'm between the nine to 10 minute range, but I just like to move my body and then I just like to nourish it. And right here I'm doing a little smoothie situation. I didn't feel like getting the smoothie machine out, but I just did a protein shake and I added some maca powder, which is what you're seeing right now, the milled flax seeds, some cacao powder, and my Truvani protein. The Truvani protein, I'm gonna just put a disclaimer, is a little bit chalky in its texture. I'm not a humongous texture person, so it doesn't really bother me, but I just wanted to add that disclaimer. And if you wanna try it, you can always sample it. I think they have samples online. It's not closed. Okay, so we are gonna organize ourselves. I am gonna be very honest with you guys. I've not been doing this. I have not been doing this. I know, I think several vlogs back before the move, before all that stuff, I was like organizing myself as the best and I have my calendars. Blah, blah. Sometimes life does not allow for you to, to spend time doing that. And I got out of a routine and I fell flat on my face and had a little breakdown about how disorganized I was because I, I'm pretty sure I have like ADHD. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't want to take medication for it because it's definitely not that severe, but I noticed that when I'm disorganized, my mental state goes because I feel very scattered and I am a productive procrastinator. So it's not like I sit around, I'm extremely productive, but on items that do not need my attention. And 
this week I really, really, really want to start getting back on track. I have this planner. I actually bought it off of an ad and I got it from Ink and Volt. It's the dashboard. I'm gonna link it below. The way that it's formatted is, and you can literally make this on your own. Like you could draw it out on your own. I just bought it because it was on sale and I felt the need. Um, but you can, like there's like the week, Sunday, or Monday through Sunday. And then there's focus areas that allow you to create little checklists for different buckets of your life. And the reason I like this is because my brain thinks like this. My brain thinks in buckets. Not everybody's brain does. So if this doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. You can make a different kind of list. But it says weekly themes and highlights this week will be because blank, week of, top priorities. So top priorities is like a big thing for me. And then daily tracker, I really enjoy this. So. There's like some color room here or like doodle room with dots that you can make like an inspirational quote. I don't know. Um, and then daily tracker down here. So this is like every day. So like vitamins or workout or devotional and you can check off the days that you've done it. Um, I am very weary of doing devotional on a list. I don't like to put my devotional time on a list because I don't like making it a check item. Some people, it's not that deep. It is deep for me. So I don't do that. But... I am gonna do my little focus areas and then we're gonna go over it together. This is also great if you work in an agency or you work somewhere with a lot of clients or a lot of different focus areas and you can make little lists. Um, but Trello and Notion are good online alternatives that are free. I use Notion. I use Notion, but I favor Trello because of its simplicity. Notion is just like so vast. When I worked agency, because it allowed me to organize my clients. So those are two that I really recommend. And I tried using them in my personal life, but I found that now that I work for myself, for some reason I'm enjoying the paper. I'm enjoying the paper more than not. And I, if I need the paper to go online, I'll do it in my notes app. And I just have a running list and I just edit it. That's what I do. Um, so everyone's different, but I'm gonna or go ahead and organize myself right now. Okay, here's my dash. So what I have on focus areas, Animo, I'm going to rebrand. I'm gonna say it on here. I don't know why I'm saying it on here because this really commits me to it. But, and that means paperwork and tax paperwork and uh, I have to get a DBA name and that is expensive, um, which means doing business as. And it's a whole process, but I think it's gonna be worth it. The reason why I'm gonna rename it from Animo is because no one can pronounce it and no one understand what it means. And while I like the name and it does have significance to me, I don't want to sacrifice the potential for a better name that is that sticks. And I need to recognize my audience. And I did not do that when I initially concepted and planned um, or conceptualized and planned. And I just, I realized that's something that I need to do and I'm gonna pivot. So we are going to rebrand soon. And what I'm doing is I need to sell a certain percentage of my inventory to be able to contract somebody to help me with the rebrand. So I am going to plan out our social for this week and next week. I really need to hit Instagram and Facebook hard. So follow me if you want to see my furniture, I'm going to be posting just like furniture, 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 <laughs> furniture, because I was getting caught up. And if you guys have, if you guys are like working in social or even normal social media, like for yourself, I got caught up in seeing what other content creators were doing that were kind of in the same industry and they were getting all these likes and all these clicks and all these posts. And I realized that's not what I want. Like my goal for this business is to sell these products because they're awesome at a great price. And I need to be able to do that. And that's the goal of my social media. My goal on social media is not to get a ton of likes and shares and like clicks and all that. It's to get sales. So I need to pivot my mindset to be more sales and revenue oriented. And that means that I have to attract the right consumer that is bottom of funnel. Like I can't be doing top of funnel stuff all the time. And when I talk about funnel, this is 
there's a sales funnel, right? And if you're in sales, you probably know more than me because I don't know that much, but I did learn about it. And if you are not ready to purchase, but you're just having funsies online, you probably like content that is more lighthearted. It's not so much like this is the price here are the dimensions this is the piece are you ready to buy you like stuff that is more inspirational you want to relate to the brand you want to get to know the brand you want to see the product etc that's top of funnel maybe even gets into middle funnel middle funnel is you're thinking about a purchase you're not necessarily ready to purchase yet so but you could be but you could be influenced but you're definitely more susceptible to purchase than if you're just having funsies and looking around Bottom of funnel is what I want to get and I need to start making content that reflects that. And bottom of funnel means I'm targeting people that are in my area. So I'm speaking to my consumer that can actually buy my product because I am a regional focus. I only do Atlanta, not even regional. I'm city focused. I only do Atlanta and greater Atlanta. I do not ship. If you want to arrange your own shipping, have at it, but I am not doing it for you. And I need to focus on people that are ready to purchase. So I know several people that follow other consignment places online and those places are very successful even though they don't get a lot of likes, even though they don't get a lot of like shares and stuff, they're crazy with the followers and they might get sub 100 likes on their posts, but they sell fast because people are looking to buy. So I want that consumer. So I'm gonna be targeting more bottom of funnel than top of funnel because I was very focused on the fluffy stats and not so much my business. So I'm gonna repivot that. So I'm gonna plan out social and then I'm gonna brainstorm the name. Those are my goals um, for this week. Then I'm gonna focus on the podcast. So the podcast, if you guys have listened to Emma Chamberlain's podcast, I kind of am taking that and using this as inspo for my podcast. Um, because I really enjoy the format she has. Super lax, open conversation, chill. That's what I want. Um, I'm not looking to do like this whole podcast. Like you guys watch Katie Bilotti. She, I haven't listened to her podcast and she just released a new podcast and she basically rebranded this old podcast she had up in, oh no, not up in Vanish. What? I forget the name of her old podcast, but she had a different podcast that was kind of like historical, but she was the only one doing the research and such. And she has limitations and a bandwidth as well. And she rebranded the podcast. And now she's actually doing like, she's working with the researcher. Apparently I heard this from a friend and she's taking it very seriously. That is not me. I'm going to just be doing my own research and then just talking about things that are on my mind. That's really it. It's just chatty. It's not informative. And then YouTube, oh, yeah, so I have to conceptualize podcast episode three, record episode three tomorrow, and I'm gonna be doing polls. So follow my podcast Instagram if you want to participate in the polls. These are gonna be really fun, really lighthearted polls that you just click if you have an opinion. And I'm just gonna talk about the poll answers on the podcast, it's gonna be fun. And then for YouTube, I'm gonna, I'm filming the reset routine right now. I'm gonna edit the reset routine. And then personal, I have to grocery shop, meal prep, laundry, pick up mail at our other property that, um, by the way, we're selling, can't wait. I'm so happy for that. And then we're gonna drop and pick off, um, pick up the dry cleaning. And for my diet slash workout, um, I'm gonna, oh yeah, big update. If you guys follow me on the health front, I'm canceling my gym membership. As you guys see, our gym here is amazing. Why, why am I driving? Because it's farther now. My gym is farther now. So I am canceling the gym membership and I'm going to book a Pilates. I'm going to just book Pilates because I really love Pilates, even though I'm awful. I'm so bad at Pilates. Like when they make me do abs or spoon or whatever, terrible, terrible. I've fallen off the machine. Oh yeah. I don't care. It's a great workout. It's super low impact and it's really good for your body. And for just health stuff that I have going on right now, I'm going to be switching to Pilates and I'm going to cancel the gym membership and then I'm going to get new running shoes because mine literally look like a dog gnaw at, gnawed at it. It's, it's their bad. Um, but that's really it. That's what I got on here. This took me 10 minutes. I highly recommend just making your own. Maybe you can find something online. And then I'm gonna go on our little board and set up the month of June. So 
we're gonna have that all organized. everybody we just vacuumed and got the car situated and then I picked up dry cleaning and now I chose a recipe out of the comfortable kitchen cookbook I'm gonna do a I don't know where it went it was like a cauliflower meal oh honey sesame sheet pan cauliflower and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do tilapia fish tacos. And then for just meals, I'm gonna do kind of like a Buddha bowl kind of thing with like chicken, sauteed kale, chickpeas, um, sweet potatoes. And I guess, oh yeah. And then I'll just pick up just some random items that I can throw together for a meal at the end of the week if we decide to stay in and eat. So I made a little list on my phone after choosing my meals and I group them in terms of like where in the store they are. So I'll do like produce, dry goods, like milks, eggs, whatever, and then like meats. And that's what I do. So I'll actually have to get cheese, snacks, or Luke. All right, let's go. Also, this is my first time shopping at a Lidl or Little, don't know how to pronounce it. Let's hit it. All right, so I just went to Little, as you guys saw, and I hope my fridge doesn't do that, that fridge weird light, but I got a bunch of meats. So the meats are awesome prices. The meats are awesome prices. So I got some cheddar, ground beef, salmon, bacon for this weekend, some chicken breasts, and then this, just in case we wanna eat this week, but we can also eat next week. And I got a bunch of just produce. So I got some kale, carrots, cauliflower, spring mix, jalapeno for, and some of this for recipes and some peppers for snacking. I went to a different store. Little does not have this, but I got the Coco June. I love this. It's so good. And it's really, really, really just clean. So I went to a store and got this. And then I got some eggs and what else? Just some like snacks. I got like a coconut water and some pickles. And then over here, I got some other produce. So you can see I got sweet potatoes, avocado, bananas, got some limes. And then I got a bunch of lemons over here, an onion. I got a bunch of pantry stuff, but I put all this stuff away. I was on the phone with my mom, so I couldn't talk and show you while I was on the phone with her. So I got some trail mix, some dried pineapple. I found out after the fact, after I bought it, that it contains so much added sugar. So this will be a sweet treat. It is like 18 grams of added sugar per serving. So that's a ton of sugar and a nice little treat. What else did I get? I got some canned goods. So I got some black beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans, and tortillas. What else? I'm pretty sure that's it. I got a bunch of stuff. But all in all, comparing it to Kroger, comparing it to Publix, comparing it to Whole Foods, the price was way lower. And I found out after checking out that I didn't have the app for all the savings. So I'm gonna download the app for all the savings. But overall, I think I'm gonna switch my shopping to uh, Little or Lidl, however you pronounce it because I think it is gonna save me a lot of money long-term. And if I don't find anything in the Lidl, oh, I need to learn how to pronounce it. If I don't find anything in the Little, then I can just go bop to a store or go to a store the next day or order it online, whatever it may be, and just call it a day. So 
that's what I'm gonna do. I just ate a little snack because I didn't have any lunch. I had some Coco June with granola and I'm gonna just eat an early dinner. So I think tonight we're gonna do some, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna just do that cauliflower dish with ground beef. So it's gonna be delish and I'm gonna do some computer work. So let's get started. Okay, and looking at my dashboard, I saw that I got the grocery list done, picked up the mail, dropped and picked up the laundry in terms of the dry cleaning. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order the rugs that we need and then I'm gonna meal prep potentially. morning everybody it is the next day and last night i overworked myself and resetting <laughs> so i'm gonna make i'm gonna have a hard boiled egg a little bit of coco june i might put some granola on it and i just spent like an hour on the computer just doing some computer work and uh, then we're gonna do a little bit of devotional and then I'm going to kind of wrap this vlog up. But I did wanna mention, in resetting, I came off of a very busy weekend that had a lot of planning and execution and it was a bachelorette weekend. I mean, there was 15 girls and helping with a dynamic, it's it's a lot, but it's very worthwhile. But still, it's, it's more than you would usually take on on a normal weekend. And I went straight from that to trying to reset my entire life and also dealing with some other personal things. And it was a lot. And I just want to remind you all, like if you can't completely reset according to what your list says, just do what you can. Do what you can and it's not a big deal if you can't do absolutely everything and it's not worth losing your marbles over. Um, because that's something that I noticed that I did is I was, I was very wanting to kind of sacrifice my mental state for the sake of resetting my physical surroundings. And to be honest, yesterday I just needed to take it slow and I didn't do that. I was like all gas, no brakes. And that's something that I have said before in vlogs about resetting is the reset comes when you turn off. Like when you reset a computer, it turns off. When you reset a phone, you turn it off. And sometimes you just need to turn off to be able to reset in a way that is a true reset. So I encourage you to turn off. 
turn off so you can you know reset even if that's something as little as 15 30 minutes whatever you can do just like turn off for that time so you can have a little bit more mental energy to reset the rest of what you need to do anywho that's what i wanted to say that was my piece i'm about to make a coffee we have talked about the coffee machine many of you have reached out to me on instagram and just um i think somebody commented last time about the coffee machine it took me probably over 10 hours to figure out how to use this thing so i figured it out it was the beans and it's all about the internal grinder setting and the external grinder setting and how long the shot goes for so i will briefly show you how i do my coffee now let's do it I also always eat an egg or something before I drink coffee or I try to very much because I get very antsy if I don't. So pro tip, if you get the heebie-jeebies when you drink coffee, maybe don't drink coffee or eat something beforehand. All right, that was a fail. Oh, why is that turning? That was a fail. Um, it came out way too fast and I don't think I tamped it enough. So this coffee is probably extremely, extremely bitter. <laughs> why is it so hard? All right, saute is pretty good. A little bitter, a little bitter. Oh gosh, why is this turning like this? No, I literally, I had it before I left. I don't understand what has changed. I don't get it. I, I'm at a loss for words because before I left, I made like the most amazing coffee ever. And this is like, it's okay. Like I'm gonna drink it, but. It was two days in a row of amazing coffee, so it's not like it was a fluke. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna worry about that tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna go outside and do some devotional and we're gonna do a little workout. But thanks for coming along on my little reset. I just want to remind you that not every reset is gonna look perfect, beautiful, astounding, magical, one of a kind, because that don't exist. And if it does, I'm glad. I'm happy for you if it does. Anyway, shout out Melanie. Mel got me this sweater and it is so comfy. I'm obsessed with it. And yes, all that to say, you're gonna reset your life. Be okay with maybe resetting it gradually and just find peace in the ways that you are able to reset. It's okay. It doesn't have to be done all at once. These vlogs that I watch, I have watched reset vlogs too. They make it seem like, oh my gosh, I did this all in one day and I did this with time to spare and time to relax. And when you're actually in execution of it, you're like, um, I don't know if that's real. <laughs> and um, everything I did with you guys was real. And I kind of burn out. So I just want to remind you that gradual resetting is okay and almost encouraged. And if you're able to just get it in one go, you go, you go, do your thing. But thanks for being here. I will see you in the next vlog. Be sure to listen to my podcast, the Off Topic Podcast. I know for a fact it's on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon Music. I don't quite know if it's on the other platforms. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time on it, but I don't know if it's automatically being distributed. Uh, yeah. So listen on there, but thanks for being here and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye friends.